Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin and some of the clips I'm about to show you are some 2v2 arenas of me and Cynex playing at about 2k MMR and we face against this really good, really well played, should have deserved the win, uh, rogue mage combo. The rogue is a subtlety, he played so well, he pulled out so much CC, he lived and the mage had so much control. Basically those guys played impeccably for a 2v2 arena. But because me and Cynex are playing as a DPS healer, and I, because of, I feel like I'm a fairly competent player in terms of my CC, maybe not my burst lineups, and the first game was a complete, just, oh, garbage. But because we're playing uh, 2v2 games as a DPS healer, we do have an innate advantage. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk a bit about. I feel like World of Warcraft as a game, especially for the 2v2 arena scene, and in general in PvP, I think it would be a lot more fun if something was added towards some of the classes, or maybe something done towards the 2v2 ladder, where there was a smaller gap between healer dps and double dps right now healer dps is m much much stronger than a healer dps alternative so when you're playing with your friends and you want to push rating you got to decide whether you want to play with joe who is a fury warrior or with matt who is a disc priest and the disc priest is a guaranteed 2300 in twos so this is one of the things that i think blizzard could maybe improve on and it was so awesome with some of the uh, patch uh, changes coming out in 7.1.5 with 7.2 and I also don't think it could be changes to the arena itself. I think it could be just changes to classes. For example, warriors, for example, uh, I know arms are for certain, are getting a disarm and they're getting this battle roar where if the enemy is not targeting the warrior, everybody else they're hitting, they're hitting for 50% less damage. So things like this are going to be uh, interesting things to bring in into PvP specific situations to give some of the classes and specs a little bit extra variety and a little bit extra of an oomph just so they are maybe more viable in arenas. I feel like if Blizzard were to make a bunch of changes to a bunch of classes to bridge the gap between double DPS and healer DPS, I honestly think 2v2 arena and ladder would be a ton more fun. So here are some of the games where we face against two really good uh, subtlety rogue frost mage combo at about 2k MMR, which is uh, were some of the most fun games that I've ever had, but because I feel like I have a decent um, CC uh, and I utilize my Cloak of Shadows properly, and I'm pretty sure the other team wasn't aware about the Cloak of Shadows heal, as you see the mage just keeps casting into it, and basically healing me to full. Um, because of those utilities that I bring myself as an Outlaw Rogue, I was able to basically score as the kills. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I do think that it'd be cool if Blizzard were to bridge the divide between double DPS and healer DPS. But what do you guys think in the comments below? Do you think 2v2 arenas and overall for PvP, it'd be great if Blizzard tried to do what they could in order to make less difference between a double DPS team versus healer DPS or are twos just not that much fun, not that important, and the real balance lies in threes, so twos can just be disbalanced and whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about everything in the comments below. And enjoy the video. I have no clue where it's at. It usually would be like in the class hall. Maybe some kind of a class hall mission. I wouldn't know though. Everybody's, it's not in the class hall. Yeah, everybody's stuff is different. Like for demon hunters, mm -hmm. they have to run through dungeons. Rogues just have to do uh, do some uh, do some quests around like Azuna and shit. So everybody does their own thing. Uh, watch us lose this one, cause these guys are fucking legit. <clears throat> rogue mage, mm -hmm. we got this. I kinda wanna get a trinket out of the rogue, and then go him. What the hell, he just threw an orb out of random. I'm sad. Uh-huh. I mean, do you want me to just open up and just fucking chill? Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, the rogue is just gonna CC the shit out of me. I'm gonna get polymorphic and shit. I found rogue for just a second. I'm actually gonna trick it blind the rogue. Alright, us. Um, uh, lion poly. I'll sap the rogue. I'll sap out. Uh huh. I'm gonna get poly. poly. I think he's smork, dude. So I might just be able to just go on him on the fact that he is a smork. Oh no, he trinketed just now. Okay, I think I, I might be able too. to go him, dude. Just dispel me if needed, all right? Okay. I'm nature's lock. Uh, parry, parry, parry. I can't do anything else. I parried. Okay. I was running after the rogue. He's just gonna get a full reheal, dude. He's gonna get a full reheal. No, 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 he's out, he's out. I don't know where he's at, though. He's behind the, uh, that pillar. 
Yeah, I'm chilling. This CC though. Mm hmm. Okay, well, those rogue. Yeah, you're in trouble. I'm poly full. Trying to cloak. I'm right poly. Okay, okay, this guy is healing me to full, dude. I think I can kill. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Sap that glacial. Nice. God damn it, this rogue. It's on this rogue. I'm uh, I can't no, really do much. Man. I can't really do much. Oh fuck. Oh shit, dude. Line, line, line. Don't let I can't, him get that. can't really line either. Okay. Okay, nice. I fucked up so hard, dude. My, so I had a yeah. uh, a macro that I use with you. Where I <laughs> Ooh, okay, that was my bad on that one. So I have a macro where it tricks you and myself, right? Yeah. And I didn't have that available when I originally went on the rogue. So when I vanished cheap shot him with the Oma burst, just didn't have the macro, so it wasn't like enough damage to score the kill. Oh, at least it, I didn't have it in the right spot because uh, it's like to party one, so then it always goes to you or whoever else I have in my twos group. And yeah. for the, yesterday for the raid, what I had to do is uh, I had to change it out a bit so that I could um, macro my heal my tank instead. So like when we pull, I can open up with an ambush and go through my rotation, and my tank can start taking aggro. Because we were having a little bit of an issue yesterday. Like I took a few fucking death hits from the boss. Like we open up, and I just get get proc cheat death. And it's like, well, I would have died there, so I wouldn't have cheat death for a while. So if you run into some mechanic that like one shots me. I'm fucked for a bit. Yeah, honks are between the classes. Like, you see warriors getting the disarm, and then the new shout. They're trying to add, like, different things to uh, make each class seem unique. Oh, yeah. But I think it, they probably I gave the warrior a little too much. I mean, I agree with the idea to give, make every class unique, because, like, then you have a warrior who only brings, like, well, I have a, C, I have a damage. And it's like, what do you bring to the table? Well, I bring damage, so um, there's that, you know? It's like, yeah. that's all you bring to the table. It's like, any class can bring damage. You can look at demon hunters that bring damage. D uh, death knights, monks, and it's like, well, if you don't, if you just bring damage, you gotta have something extra to give people a reason to have you in the group. So now yeah. you have reason for warriors. Demon hunters are gonna just destroy healers with their uh, mana burn or whatever. Mana break, which is gonna counter Mist Waver so hard. Oh, yeah. I actually think Warrior Demon Hunter is going to be a stupid god. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Found the rogue for like a second. Found him. We're going to go rogue, actually. Okay. I'm just trying to line poly. I'm just. I just shrinked it and polyed and everything, so I'm fucked, okay, dude. Poly. I know they want to go me. They haven't got a trinket out yet, so. I highly doubt they'll go you, man. He's trying to build up some icicles on me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the 100% looking for me, dude. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I trinketed it, so they're gonna kill me next, next go, dude. 100%. So, should we just AFK, I guess, until I get my trinket back? Um. Because I don't I have any good cooldowns or nothing. Don't know. I, d I trinketed it and I probably shouldn't have, but I kind of fucked up my opener. Uh, how long till trinkets back up? Uh, we'll find the rogue, so a uh, minute. I would go ahead and open on him. I'm gonna okay. sap, the, sap the poly. He oh, trinketed him. Got polyed anyway. Yeah. You're gonna reset and line up on me, dude. I got set up on me. Line I'm trinketing this. I'm stunned. I got cloak up. I can, I can heal off them for a bit. Okay. I'm half poly. Quarter poly. Mm -hmm. Tapping mage. I'm stun blind. Mage. Too. All I can do is stun the mage for now. Okay, I'm um, spamming cocoon on you. Mm -hmm. 
I got cloaked back up. Oh, that was Rogue, by the way. I probably should have hit him. Oh, I'm trying to cleanse you. If you can keep the Rogue in combat, uh, a blind Rogue. Okay. Polly, can you set the Rogue? Uh, no mind. I got no, shrink it in a few man. seconds, few seconds. If you can keep me alive. I'm Polly, I'm Polly, I'm Polly. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. That's Tim. Guys, Rogue. I didn't kill him. I got stunned. Mage's dead. Mage's dead. Mage's dead. Stun the rogue. Okay, so I think he wants more for this one. Because there's no way we should have won that. Nah, he drank it in. <laughs> oh, did he? Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I didn't notice. I just at one point stopped paying attention to the rogue as soon as the mage died. My vision just like closed in. I'm like, <laughs> okay, cool. I can stop.